So we're here with one of the executive producers and judges, Wilmer Valderrama. First of all, we have to ask, why put together a show like this? Well, I actually, uh, I've been a dancer since I was very young and uh, dancing was a big passion of mine. And uh, in the last couple of years, I've seen the, uh, the procreation of a lot of uh, dancing formats and I've grown very frustrated and I've grown very, um, to be honest, borderline angry about the, uh, the actual staging of, of some of uh, these TV formats. And for me, um, it was important that I created something uh, that, that was true and authentic. And uh, when I started creating the, the, the concept for this, I, you know, I've, I've been dancing with Jerry Slaughter and, and uh, you know, and the Black Eyed Peas and uh, Chris Judd and Rich and Tone and all those guys for a long time. We used to battle back in the club days, you know, and, and uh, you know, as I started progressing and started thinking about, you know, the producing stuff, I told, I told myself, you know, I, nobody's really done, you know, um, at the right stage that really kind of not only captures the soul and spirit, but really, really highlights this subculture for what it really is. Um, I like to say that we are the uh, we are the FU show to uh, to all of those dancing shows on the networks. We don't have a choreographer in the behind the scenes making sure that we're TV ready. You know, this is as raw as it gets. You know, these guys are out there battling for survival and battling with the with the arsenal that they that they've so perfected throughout so many years of practice and uh, and competition. So for me, I could not be more proud to be the creator and executive producer than, and now judge of uh, easily probably the biggest uh, stage for b-boy. So why breaking as opposed to other styles of dance like popping or locking? You know, it, uh, it, it's a fundamentals to a lot. You know, I mean, I think when you look at uh, the history of dancing, specifically of hip hop dancing and, and what's popular today, you know, there's a lot of fundamentals. This is, you know, these guys have reinvented this art form over and over and over again. I mean, these guys are superheroes and um, I always keep joking around about this, but I, I wanted to create the Avengers yeah. of, uh, of uh, b-boying and breaking, you know. So, so this stage is, uh, is going to be a, an international portal, an international platform for, for introducing and paying tribute uh, to this world, uh, not only to the universe, but really uh, to all the continents. Putting this online and doing the most iconic web series that is ever created for this, for this sport slash culture slash subculture slash religion, you know, um, the important thing was that we, we did a web series that really was accessible to the world because this culture is so international um, and putting it on a network would limit us to the people that could access it. Now it's so true to its art form. You have some heavy hitters on this list of, of, of talent here. How did that selection of b-boys come into you? Well, I got to get a lot, of, a lot of credit to my boy Flips. You know, I'm sure all you guys know who Flips is. And Flips was, uh, is the head casting director of, uh, of our, of our of our show, he put together an amazing group of people who are, you know, the first dynasty for King of the Floor, and uh, and excited, you know, excited because Flips did, did his thing. He specifically brought a, a team of people that are going to go against each other to really introduce this culture. And this first season is the most important so far. Uh, um, and I look at the seasons ahead. This is really the breaking ice. You know, this is the one, the one that's going to introduce our world, our culture, this 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 underground world. Um, to the mainstream on a level that they've yet to see and that's why everyone that's in this first, you know, batch of goods yeah. You know, it's uh, it's um, it's history for everyone Now I have to take notice of um, That you're a judge here. What's some of the criteria that you're looking for? We're looking, I mean, we're looking for all the above, you know, I think yeah. that Technique and Zulu and I were we're thinking about uh, specifically, you know, uh, you know, creativity, but most importantly, you know, your ability to to counter, you know what I mean? Your ability to to follow the song, follow the beat. You know, one thing is going after doing acrobatics and the other thing is not understanding or really going for for uh, culturally what, what this sport is. And uh, so, no, we're very excited because I think the criteria is going to be very dead on. We're not, we don't have a conventional judging system. We're not going to have numbers. We're also not going to leave it to the audience. Who do you think won? Like, that's not us. Um, so what we're doing is, is really looking for the best because uh, we are putting an elite team eventually that will battle on an international platform. So there's, there's a bigger picture here that we've yet to, uh, we've yet to, uh, to announce. Well, the stage looks amazing. The talent is amazing. It's a must-see. Stay tuned. Be sure to check it out and watch it.